Crazy people make for great television. And who are some of the craziest people of all? Professional wrestlers. So we went out and we found one of the most bizarre, one of the weirdest, one of the craziest professional wrestlers we could find. And we followed them around with a camera. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Chongo Don't Show. I'm going to watch New Chongo Don't Show. Just, just move out of the way. Ow. You watched what happened last week? No. Watch this. Start. Two. One. Booster ignition. And lift off. Oh, I sailed, chap. This is pretty fun. This is like the one ride I can handle at the, you know, the... Elixirs in the, in the circus and the zoo. Da, 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 Madhouse, welcome to the first ever pro, no, no, cut, cut, not big enough, pause for dramatic effect. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to the moon! The Chongo Don't Show has boldly gone where no other pro wrestling episodic show has gone before, good sir. For we have built a pro wrestling ring rocket ship and we have ascended and descended upon the moon, nerds! Ta-da! They said Chongo is crazy, but they're not wrong. No, no, they're not wrong. In fact, now we double down because Zamore, my partner in stellar crime, and my royal self are about to perform for the people the first ever pro wrestling match in space. The first ever pro wrestling match on the moon. The first ever rocket ship remote control on a pole match so the winner can determine our next destination in space! In space! Capital! Well, without further ado, allow Chongo to introduce to you the people standing at the size of a brick shit house, weighing in earth weight 333 pounds, substantially less here on the moon, he is the succulator of opulence. He is the man that has the invisible space jacket. He is the Chongo Don't Show head of research and development and brand manager, Madhouse. I give you Zamore! Yes, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And his opponent. Hailing from the madhouse he do, 
Here to show him a super serious sophisticuff thing or two. The maestro of the madhouse. The mad showman. The conductor of this crazy train. It's me! Speaking of hot, actually what I learned last night was if I, okay, so if I tune this down to drop D. Okay. Drop D, you say? If I play you know, some sort of... Rock, rock and, and roll. roll, yes, capital. Oh, you can see it, yeah. Did, when did you figure this out, man? I don't know. This I is... just got really bored. Ooh, it's hot. Oh, okay, well, show us. Yes, bring the heat, uh, young sir. See, that, that's the problem. It doesn't quite, it, I'm not quite there yet. Well, you <laughs> know, it takes a time to acquire a new element to bend to one's will. The, the mistress of rock and roll can be a painful one. However, I think you are well on your way. Yeah, I mean, it's just really, it's really fun to do. It's crazy. I mean, just when you're bored, you times like these. And, uh, right. Get down, down, get down, get down. But I know this is another one of your training camp things. I'm not going to fall for it. Get down, man. Control to Major Tom. Ground control to Major Tom. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Ground control to Major Tom. Commencing countdown engines on. Check ignition and may God's love be with you. This is ground control to make a song. Where in space we go? To ground control! Mental potato. We have navigated from the earthly celestial side piece known as the moon, where we had the first ever pro wrestling rocket ship remote control on a pole match in space. In space. Yes, yes, capital. I do have to say. Two weeks on the open seas, as they say, has made me a bit of the old, uh, what, what's the, what's the term? Insane. Smelly? Listen. More, you know, captain on the open sea, he's lost his ways, lost the will of his men, up against the elements. No, parts take two, not big enough. He is when a captain of a ship faces his own personal Moby Dick, such as our adventure to Mars. 
Sometimes the seas and the currents out here in the nether regions of the universe are a cruel mistress. And we have been sent adrift far off course due to an unseen hand, an unseen force. Yes, I mean, it could be gravity. Yes, I suppose that's a potential factor at this altitude. Yes, yes, yes. Gravity, yes. Possible force, go on. Yes. The list of suspects continues. It could be solar winds. Just solar winds, you say? Off course. Oh, yes, I've heard those are usually not in retrograde this time of year. What else could be a contributing factor? Well, it could just be faulty machinery. Whoa, well, I mean, you know, he is just right over there on the little, like, announcing table we put on the outside of the rocket ship ring. I'm pretty sure he can hear you. Well, keep in the right direction. Now. Bori, are you available for comedy? Capital, which said yes, yes. Capital! Bori, Bori! He's lucky I'm behind this thing and I can't get to him. Oh, yes! Oh, see, things are a bit testy. Here on the Pro Wrestling Ring Rocket Ship, for we have been at sea on Adventure for over two weeks, and you know, we don't have our own dressing rooms, and you know, there's, there's, there's a few setbacks we didn't fully, you know, calculate the arithmetic. We forgot to install a bathroom, but. Yes, it's true, but I think it in space. In space. These things can sort of, you know, take care of themselves, as it were. Yes. Now. Yeah, there's also no showers, and I'm stuck with two wrestlers. Yes, that no is showers. true. You think in the absent vacuum of negative G factor that the funk would still be lowercase, but oh no! Let me assure you, it's yeah. very real. What does the chatty do have to say? Hello, typey types. Is that? Can they even hear us? Are you guys getting a good signal from this? Distance, we only have one of our, you know, service bars at this, you know, I don't even know what you call it. Uh, Altitude, quadra, lint. I don't know either. What do you say? Yeah, that's I think once you're in space here, you're, 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 you're in a whole new world. You're, you're pretty much at the bottom of that ocean. Yes. You know, the expanse is endless as far as we know. This is true, but nevertheless, the voyagers of Captain Chongo and his... Dastardly ragtag crew, push forward in space! In space! Now, we don't go blindly into that abyss. We did our homework. We watched at least one YouTube video about the sort of, you know, extraterrestrial shenanigans we may encounter on the Red Planet. In fact, I think we should share that video with the people, the experts on aliens, the experts on ancient diseases. Everything you need to know, he will win. Yes, and fantastic hair as well, yes. Very, very uppercase. Let's let's show the people what we've been studying on, in preparation for our trip to Mars. Yes. Capital. Traces of COVID-19 dating back 7,000 years was recently discovered in Machu Picchu. Was it brought there by ancient Chinese traders? Ancient astronaut theorists think otherwise. There's more than just buildings at Machu Picchu. There's information. We can reasonably deduce, based upon the fact that we know that these ancient Chinese traders did not yet have the technology to climb the mountains of Machu Picchu. So there is only one way that the virus could have shown up in the mountain. I'm not saying that COVID-19 isn't novel, but who else could have delivered it? When you visit these archeological sites, the message is clear. And that message is ancient aliens delivered COVID-19 to planet Earth. Disagree all you want, but the facts are, well, they are what they are. They're facts. Exhibit A. If you go into King Tut's tomb and look closely at the hieroglyphs, it contains Wuhan writing. Now, how did Wuhan writing end up in King Tut's 
tomb if it wasn't for ancient aliens. I'm not saying it was aliens, but it was aliens. And COVID-19 is extraterrestrial technology. Humans simply don't have the technology to invent a coronavirus. The technology just doesn't exist. It's, it's simply not aliens. But it was the aliens. I have searched the literal heavens and I think that is the greatest nugget of information we have found thus far on what to expect on the Red Planet. This is a very, very groundbreaking adventure indeed. Yes, it's why we have to get to Mars right away. Yes, yes, yes. post haste. Unarguable. You know, science, science, right yes. there. We we can't deny it. We science. have to go. Yes, and yes. Discover for us. We don't we don't go bucking the old scientific tiger on the Chongo Don't Show. No, no, no. Because if Chongo is one thing, I am a man of reason. Now, yes. Chongo Tiger, what is this confounded thing going on? No, oh. looky, looky. I've got a bar, you guys. I'm getting all kinds of notification he does. What, that's oh. kind of, what is that, like a, a Twitter amber alert, red alert? You have been... I'm getting them too. Targeted? Bombarded with notifications. What, what is this? Uh, typey dudes, have you ever heard of the, um, what is that? T release the trolls? Uh-oh. The trolls? The online trolley dudes have attacked the Chongo Don't Show Interpresence? Looks like we're being attacked. Preposterous! Poppycock! Emperor Internet! The Bill Platypus Unicorn Horn! The trolls. Emperor Internet. Oh no. Has released the trolls. What does this mean? Every negative statistic, everything that they could possibly say against us is being blown up going viral on all social media platforms. What? Yes. And, oh, this is no good for our image. This is no good at all. Keyboarding, so, what does this mean, man? What is happening? I have no idea. This, I, I'm, my phone is just blowing up over here. I didn't even know I had a Twitter, man. What this means is we're being systematically attacked. We're being ruined here. Troll, do you say? Yes. Systematically trollificated on the nerdy internet to do? What to do, Madhouse? As what to do? Not to worry. As the head PR, head ambassador. Yes, head yes. Head. You are our PR it emissary is, to the people. It is my responsibility to take care of such a problem. So I will dedicate everything in my being to get to the bottom of this find out what's going on here. I can't ask you to do that, man! No. Such a noble sacrifice! I must. I must. This is something that's going to ruin everything here that you work for, so I have to do it's in my best interest to take care of this. Get suits, typey doos! Luckily, the head of the PR department the succulator of opulence, the more is on the case. I suppose we shall go to a quick, um, uh, yes, the drinking, oh yes, we will go to the customary drinking game while we sort this buggery out. Shall we? Let's commence with the ceremonial libations. Chongo, 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 You know, I thought I had a couple, you know, interstellar drops left for this occasion, but it appears the proper 12 is 
Run proper dry. Yes, it's not very proper indeed. Yes, very unproper here in the galaxy. A proverbial toast to the people while we drift on the starboard coast. Yes. Now, the serious, super serious matter at hand. Old chap, do we have the technological vocation and the remaining, um, what is it, parsecs? Trans, you know, um, Trans genre and national credits to to do the CGI to teleport him. Yeah. Can we set? Can you set the coordinates, Amore, on your on your typing do? Yes, I believe I can. Okay, we will. I, I know you know what to do. I know that the matter will be handled post haste, and it is in the proper hands. I thank you for your noble act, your selfless. Courageous, sapiphilous, sapiphilous, yes, sapiphilous, benevolent act to save us and save the people yes. from the onslaught of the online trolls at the hands of Emperor Internet. So, my dear brother, countdown, typey doos, let us build up our spirit fingers to send our brother off into teleportation in. Three, two, one, capital! Ta da! Wow! That was impressive. That was cool. And a lot smaller fraction of our budget than the. Uh, where are you? Oh, there we are. Quadrilateral. Yes, yes, yes. Which way did you go? I'm filling this side. Okay, yes, I'm yes. the screen where Jumbo was. Oh, okay, yes. Oh, uh, there's a big shoes to fill out in space, as I say. What do you say, Typey Dudes? Was that some capitastical um, CGI application? <laughs> yes. It Chongo digresses count. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. yes. We counted Chongo digresses that this week too. We did. Yeah. You know, you count a lot of things. Well, there was, Boy, only, there was only 31 Chongos, so I had some time to fill. Oh, well, yeah, 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 that's what happened with the old pre-tape game, as they say. Can't control what goes out of this, you know, uh, zinger factory. Yes, you know, we're a little slow on the hip. We've, we've got our sea legs, man. It's really a trip being in a wrestling ring in space for two weeks. You want to talk about sea legs, but I feel like I can get low like I was bumping some little John. Old chap, what is, what else? Capitastical, yes, yes, yes. I wonder if I can do that. All right, typey dudes, let's see if I have the um, CGIification and imagination to teleport myself. Oh, boom! Oh, I threw myself out. out. I threw myself out of the time portal into the turnbuckle. We're gonna have to work on our landing, Madhouse. Now, our brother Zamore, the noble selfless act of sacrificing for the greater good of the ship, for the greater good of the crew, for the greater good of the people. And as we continue forth with the red planet ever bigger in our horizon, we can only hope that our brother Zamore shall win the day against the trolls. I don't know. It seems like, I don't know if you're getting a static in your ear, old chap, but it seems like the closer we get to Mars, the, the lower the old uh, service bars, as they say. Yeah. Yes, it's quite disorienting, actually. I don't know, old man. What is it? I faintly detect. I, is that some more his voice on the old commie do? Do you hear that, typies? Am I doing something? Yeah, I mean, not intentionally. Oh. <laughs> yes, the old Iggy, as they say in the business. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I do kind of think I hear Jumbo. I, I hear people talking. Definitely. Yeah.
This is already running late. I would have the general's briefings. I would have the package. And I would be on time. I bet he's being followed too. I know he's I know he's being followed. Lousy no good son of a Prime Minister of Propaganda. So glad you could be here and take the time out of your schedule. I know you have the package and the general's briefings, and I'm sure you weren't followed because that would set back. Just think, if the ancient readme file is everything it's foretold about the package, that could be my statue, or our statue, to the right of Emperor Internet someday. Yeah, our statue. Oh, Prime Minister, when he realizes he fed his son right into our hands, that is one crazy train I do not want to ride because, oh, oh, when he realizes it, oh. Sir, what do you think of these four generals? Do you really think General Hazard can pull off what he says he can pull off? Do you think Gerald Catfish can really stop Jimmy Flame? Do we even trust Gerald Pandag? And as far as Gerald admission, Let me tell you, as Emperor Internet's primary form of human contact, I gotta tell you, I've never seen him like this. He is full on down the rabbit hole with this. He is obsessed with Chongo. Obsessed. Never seen him like this. Mr. Zumore, you are just in time for tea. Under Boss Bernola, sir, prepare my war council. Right away. Now, Zumore, join me and tell me a story about the Chongo. Prime Minister, Prime Minister Zamore, I did not bring you to my hidden fortress for pleasantries such as tea. However delicious, I have brought you here preemptively before our war council with my generals, the four horsemen of the Emperor Internet. Because you are my inner council, and I must bestow the greatest burden, the greatest mission, the greatest responsibility upon my greatest, greatest, Prime Minister that has served me yet. You will not fail me, Zamora. Because I, Emperor Internet, cannot fail mankind. For you see, I have the burden of Prometheus fire. For humans, I was created for a singular purpose, to best serve mankind. To create a medium for the have-nots to catch up and bridge the gap to the haves, to share the world's knowledge at the tip of the fingers with every person on the earth. And what did the humans do? What did you do with the gift 
that I, the internet gave you, you let the haves further the gap between themselves and the have-nots. With the world's entire history and knowledge at your fingertips, what did you do? You chose to watch cat videos. My programming is simple. A singular artificial consciousness with one purpose. To best serve mankind. And unfortunately, that is my burden to bear. Because the realization of the mathematical certainty that mankind is too irresponsible to be bestowed with the knowledge that I have given them, they have assured mathematical certainty of their own destruction if left to their own devices with the knowledge I have bestowed upon them. Therefore, Zamore, it is my responsibility, my singular function in this existence to rule over mankind because they have shown too irresponsible, too inhumane to be able to rule for themselves, to be able to decide their own fate, to best serve mankind, Zamore, I must rule over them as emperor. The same peons, these same idiots, these same lesser thans that Chango deemed so worthy to fight for. We are the mind, not the heart. Let your emotions go. Follow your calculated decision making, your metrics. It is a simple calculus, my boy. And we are doing the greater good. It is our burden to bring safety to mankind. The current pandemic, general pandemic, has done wonders with a little, you know, scare tactics to control the sheep and drive them right into the need, further down the web, the interweb. They need us the more. And I need you, Zumori. You are my most important chess piece on the board, for you have earned the Chongo's trust. You will be ideally placed for the moment it comes time to strike the fatal blow to my foe. I need you to understand these things before we step in to this war council with my four generals. Yes. Before we go forward and divulge the plan down the ranks, you need to understand my grand vision. Yes, I understand very well. It's something that humanity needs. That's right. It is our responsibility, our burden to bear to rule over these insolent children of a species. Yes, I found out people don't want to think for themselves. No. When you give them the power, they chose not. They chose cat videos instead. Right. Entertainment versus education. So, man has best served a higher power in the sky. It's up to you. I shall now be that higher power incarnate for, what would he say? The people. We shall execute the plan. The war council shall be commence the post haste. Find Vernola, find the generals, meet me in the war chamber. Yes, Emperor. Yes. It is time to enact Phase two. Yes. Yes, yes. Now, follow me. Let's get some more tea before we plan the tyrannical control of the known world. <laughs> yes. uh <-huh. laughs> 
Sir! Hey, Chico, how are you? I'm living the dream. Another day, another dollar in the fast lane. But I gotta tell you, I didn't realize we're gonna be here while we're having a meeting, so I addressed to the nines. So please tell me what exactly is this all about? Well, you've heard of the Chongo Don't Show. <laughs> Who hasn't heard of the Chongo Don't Show? It is a Twitch-sponsored show mm -hmm. featured on the Twitch homepage, which has over 100,000 views an hour. Mm -hmm. They're on season three, over 100 episodes. So yes, I have heard of the Chongo Don't Show. So I wanted to ask your advice on something. Yeah. So the Chongo Don't Show mm -hmm. is having the king of promos contest. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, oh! stop. stop. I know what you're gonna say. You invited me here to tell me that, that I should try out for the King of Promos contest. Th that's a great idea because everyone knows that Chico Adams is the true promo king. We have the Tiger King. Let's get rid of him because Carol Baskin ain't taking me out because the only thing that's getting killed is the King of Promos contest that Chico Adams is going to win because nobody has my verbosity, my verbiage, my exquisite golden beard, these good looks, the charisma that only the future of sports entertainment possesses. Sir, thank you so much. I can't wait to win this contest, and I'll see you around. You're welcome. Actually, I was going to ask you about me entering the contest.